Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the nurse slipper, part-time reseller out of North Florida, full-time nurse, and a mom. So today is Monday, August 10th, I think, 9th, 10th, whatever. And we have 40 orders going out on eBay. Insane. And we also have two Mercari and four on Amazon. So let's take a look. All right, guys, first up, one of the vintage brochures. I will remind you, I got a big box of these for $60 plus shipping. They were heavy. It was 120 bucks. I am almost in a profit. And with what I'm going to show you today, I think I am. So this one is Tuma Kokori National Monument in Arizona. It is from, if you see there, 1958 and just a really simple little pamphlet um and when i do photograph these we are just photographing front and back not the inside and the date so less than a dollar in this one sold for 14.99 plus shipping the buyer is 19 dollars 88 cents all in up next and both of these sold within a few hours of me listing them which is pretty cool this one is a California Golden Chain Motherload Highway. And I did put Smokey the Bear in the title. There were a lot of these price cheaper. Mine sold within hours. Keywords matter. So it has Smokey the Bear. Threw it in my title. It's a vintage brochure. And this one sold for $19.99. Free shipping. Up next is another brochure. Um, this one is a 1939 roadmap of New Mexico. Really cool graphics there. Um, this one is from 1939, which is super cool. Land of Enchantment. Here's the back. Same thing, a dollar in. This one's sold for $9 plus shipping. Buyer is $13.72 all in. We are sandwiching these in cardboard and putting them in envelopes. And then up next is a scarf. This one is Echo Brand, which is a decent brand. They sell for about 15 bucks. Um, trying to find a name. There it is for you guys. So Echo, really cute little yellow hearts. Um, less than a dollar in. It sold for 14 plus shipping. Buyer is $18 all in. So. I bought a bunch of scarves to learn. I do a lot of buying big lots so that I can learn about more items. That way, if I see ones that sell for more, my eyes kind of trained. Oh, I sold some scarves. Let me check those out. So, little tip. have some more Fly London shoes. These are almost sold out. I think we have four more pairs. I did get these off of a QVC palette that I bought off of B-Stock. I have $5 in. They sold for $48.59. Free shipping. So shipping will be about $9. Paid $5. We'll make about a $25 profit on these. Not too bad. And then this is from a lot. I bid on high bid on an estate auction. And these people own the ceramic shop. shop. <laughs> so I got tons of ceramic items. This is Hanovia Mother of Pearl. It is a glaze. These are brand new in the box or in the bottle. Um, pennies in, sold for $10.52. Free shipping. I will bubble wrap this, put it in a 4x4 four four box, and I will go first class. And then we have two bracelets. These are going to the same buyer. They are both. Abalone, um, which is like Mexican type of silver. They are marked. This is not sterling. They're really pretty though. There's that one. And this buyer did buy two. They paid $11 for that one you just saw. And then they paid $9 for this one. Really pretty, kind of the same pattern there. So not too bad on those. 
Up next is a bracelet. This one is sterling. Really pretty. And for these, you gotta, I looked on these beads, you can see that is Murano. So these are Murano glass beads. Um, and you can see like on the back of that snowflake, it does say 925 Italy. So this is sterling silver. It has the little adjustable clasp there and less than a dollar in, in a shop Goodwill jewelry lot. This one sold for $40. It's free shipping in the U.S., but it's going global. So we will ship it to Kentucky and the buyer paid for the shipping after that. Part of these little monkey patches. So my hair gets everywhere. So, First, I sold four of these little monkey patches, and they sold for $6 free shipping. Shipping will be about three. They'll just go in a little poly bag, and it's kind of crazy. There were three buyers, and like the patches were going crazy all of a sudden. Not sure why. And then we sold these ladybugs. So the monkeys are going to one person. There's these little ladybugs. There are these little ladybugs. They are a lot of nine. Those are going out to a different buyer. And then the buyer that got the monkeys also got these turtles, which are really cool with the little backpack. And we sold another set of the ladybug. And then I actually, the guy wanted blue monkeys. I couldn't find them. So I messaged, asked if he saw any other patches. He answered me and is going to take these little mouse patches and place blue monkeys. Then we sold these Levi Strauss. I did get these for free from my friend Pepper. Um, these are 311 Shaping Skinny. Um, they do appear new. These sold for $19 plus shipping. The buyer is $35.47. All in. They also sold an Xbox 360 Brothers in Arms game. I pay about a dollar for this and it sold for $7.50 free shipping so a few dollars profit on that. And sold all of these scarves. So there are a total of 19 in here. These um they're some cute ones, but they were all new name. Um didn't look like they were worthless. A lot of them for $42. Plus shipping, the buyer's $53.92 all in. I was about $19 in, so I doubled my money and got rid of a lot of them at once and didn't have to list them individually. I also wanted to show you guys, I am shipping out today. Really cool statue. Hurrah! And that really cool parrot. Super cool. So I did um, donate those in an auction to support Danny May from Danny May's Adventures and we're shipping those out to the winner today as well. So let's look at some more sales. Alright guys, so I'm recording in little bits because there's so much stuff going on. So Dalton came and helped me. This is his little bag to pull. I use the big blue Ikea bags. So Dalton has got this Sony cassette tape. This I paid, I think like a quarter or something, sold for $8.39. Free shipping. Super easy to pack and ship. And then I will go ahead and show you the Amazon orders. And if you guys haven't already, hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, because like 30% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. You can turn on the bell notification and you'll get notified when I do new videos. So Amazon. Four of these sold for $29.99. That is four separate orders. So for $120 over on Amazon. And then Mercari. We'll do a little intermission here with Mercari and Amazon. Mercari, I sold this Shane Victorino. This is a little bobblehead. Um, I did, I can't remember if I got this at a estate sale or an online auction, but I paid, I want to say like five bucks, it sold for 20 
over on Mercari. So over on Mercari, I sold this West Virginia Mountaineers hat for $13 and I paid less than a dollar for that. So that is our Mercari and Amazon and let's get back to eBay. I sold this little Vera Bradley makeup case. So this little makeup case I got for pennies. It was in a palette and it sold for $9 free shipping, super light. Put it in a little poly and it will be good to go. And then we have a Thai Beanie Baby. <laughs> um, these guys are not much profit, but they're definitely easy to list and ship. So 50 cents in, but the lot is already in profit. And this one sold for $8.09. Free shipping. Shipping will be about $3.50. So we'll still make a few dollars on that. And then, let's see. I sold this Seminoles flag. Um, this is a really big garden flag. And it did have, um, like, the wood dowel for it, but I did not list it with that. Um, this one sold for... $12.15. I am a Gators fan. So really, it's actually super faded from the sun. And I did put that in my listing. Sold for $12.15 plus shipping. Buyers a total of $20 all in. So if vintage stuff is faded or has stains, it doesn't mean it won't sell and you won't make a good profit. You might have to ask a little less than you would if it didn't have it. But you can still sell so next, I got these from Donatella Bodolino's auction, a big lot of pantyhose. The Spire actually bought four. So there are two of um, two are coffee color and two are, I don't remember, coffee and beige, beige, coffee. So four total, the buyer bought. They paid $6 plus shipping for each set so they are about $30 all in and I paid about $4 so not too bad of a profit probably like 15 bucks after shipping I sold this vintage Christmas 1976 Annie ornament really cute ornament it sold for $5.99 plus shipping the buyers $12 and 76 cents all in I actually got tons of ornaments for five bucks on the last day of an estate sale so i like making offers for everything on last days because you can get it cheap so five bucks i got tons of them all profit 5.99 and this is a vintage avon um not too fond of them but this one's not horrible um it did take a while to sell i didn't think this one would take that long because i think this is super cool so it's a seahorse, which is really neat. Um, and this one sold for $8.10 plus shipping. The buyer is $20 and 14 cents all in. It is still new in the box, which is pretty cool. And then Next is this vintage Royal Sealy teacup. It's a really cool iridescent color and it is marked on the plate. The cup is not marked, but they are matching set. And there is your sticker. So the cup probably had a sticker, but it fell off. So it is Royal Sealy. I paid less than a dollar. And this one sold for $17.99 plus shipping. The buyer's $32.91 all in. So I love doing teacups. I'm good with 15 bucks profit every time. I think they're pretty and I like sharing them. So much stuff going out, guys. It's crazy. Like 40, 40 orders on eBay, four on Amazon, two on Mercari in a day. Crazy. So this piece is hand-painted Mexican. It's really cool. It's got the handles like this painting. If you see is raised, it's just, this is a really beautiful piece. Um, this was from the beach estate auction and it was in a bathroom lot. So maybe they had like trinkets or soap or something in this. 
So I have a couple bucks in. It sold for $22 plus shipping. The buyer's $36.84 all in. Pink. Pink. <laughs> Bright colors. Um, hand painted. Will sell. Gorgeous piece. Next are some Halloween stamps. And these are actually pretty cheap ones if you see. They're not like the good wood base. They're just um, styrofoam. So probably 50 cents into these. They sold for $5.50 plus shipping. The buyer is $10.04. All in on those. So Halloween's coming up. If you have or can find Halloween stuff, now's the time to list it. Next is this really cute Eeyore. This is, or maybe it's not. I think it's Eeyore. Um, it's some Sum from the Disney store. It's just a little tote. Super cute. Got it in a lot. Paid a dollar. It sold for $9.30 plus shipping. The buyer is $15.71. All in on that. Up next is a vintage pennant. This is upside down. This is Texas A&M Aggies. Um, a little discolored from age. I did disclose that. This one sold for $12.14 plus shipping. Buyers $18.03 all in. This is another one that already has the bins. So we will ship this probably in a poly bag. If they don't have all of those creases and bins, I will ship them in cardboard because I don't want to do any more damage. But this one already has it. So I don't. Next is some more vintage media. These are sony vhs i did get these at my local thrift store i think i paid two dollars for them they sold for 16.19 plus shipping the buyer is 27 dollars all in you see new media vhs any kind of cassettes it typically will sell um so yeah about a 15 14 dollar profit on that up next is this polo shirt. I've had it a while. Um, it does have a bleach stain. So it is Masters, which Masters stuff typically will sell pretty well. This one had these bleach stains on the bottom. I did disclose that. Buyer sent me an offer of $7.55 plus shipping. I accepted. I paid, I think, a dollar for this. So about a $5 profit. Next, this is some La Friend case really pretty these are from the 1800s so i sold the two i have about a dollar and i sold them for 12 plus shipping buyer is 24.27 all in these the stamp isn't really easy to read but it um was on some of the larger plates these do have crazing so i make sure i show that and disclose it and that is, is this vintage hand painted in italy picture really cute um i believe i got this at the thrift store for a couple of dollars sold for 15 plus shipping buyers 29.79 all in on that next is another avon bottle it is a aladdin's lamp this one same thing about 50 cents and this one does still have liquid it's bath oil it's got the little thing there so kind of cute um say it latin's lamp charisma and it sold for 1052 plus shipping the buyer 1627 up next and this is me expanding my horizon thoughts whatever um trying to learn more stuff so i saw some of these on bolo buddies on her channel during her live show she does on wednesday night so this is a little vintage dress um I actually got this at a yard sale last weekend, just a few days ago. It is Castro Company, size 24 months. I got a big pile of stuff, including five vintage dresses, a bunch of vintage linens, and a vintage shower curtain that hopefully will sell for over 100 for five bucks. So I sent an offer out on this one, and they accepted. It sold for $19.00. Plus shipping, the buyer is $25.85. Oh. I'm going to pop this next one up here because I don't want to lift it. It's kind of heavy. Um, this is a Panasonic DVD VHS. I bought this in an estate sale and I got so excited about the comps, I didn't pay attention. So the comps were running like $120, So it was $25 and I was like, okay. And I actually tried to get it cheaper, which it didn't work. I didn't notice it did not have a cord and it did not have a remote. 
So I went back and forth trying to decide, do I order this to get more money? I decided I did not want to. So it's been sitting there a little while. Somebody sent me an offer of 45. I came back at 65. They came back at 50. They said it doesn't have a power cord or remote. I went back at 60 and said they're cheap and easy to get and they accepted. So it sold for $60 plus shipping. The buyer is $121.15 all in with no power cord, no remote. So you can do it. I think this is the last thing. This is a vintage jacket. It's really stiff if you see it there. And I did put that in my description. It needs to be conditioned. Like the overall condition is good. It just really needs some conditioning. So it's phase two. Um, I actually paid maybe 50 cents for this in an auction. Like an in-person auction. I bought a rack full of vintage jackets and shirts. It sold for $40.49. Plus shipping, the buyer's $53.74, all in. So these are the mouths. I'll pop a picture up of the rest. Sold a 10-pack of dummies for $400. That's all. That's it.